In this lecture, let's learn how we can fetch data automatically from the server whenever the page loads for the first time. Currently, what is happening is when we load this page for the first time, it is not showing any data. It will only show the data. It will only show the users when we click on this get users button. But what we want is we want to display all the users which we have in the database in this page whenever the page loads for the first time. That means during the initial rendering. Let's see how we can do that. Let's switch to VS Code. And to achieve this, we can use use effect hook. So we have learned that we use use effect hook for handling side effects. And this is one of the side effect examples. So let's first go ahead and let's import use effect from React library. And let's go ahead and let's use this use effect hook. So after this state, let's go ahead and let's use this use effect hook. And to this use effect hook, we need to pass a callback function. Here, I'm using this arrow function syntax. And we also need to specify the dependencies parameter, the dependencies array. So for now, let's pass this empty array. And from within this function, let's go ahead and let's call this fetch users function. And that's it. Now what will happen is whenever the page will load for the first time, this use effect hook will be called and this callback function will be executed. Now here, this callback function will be executed only for the initial rendering because here for the dependencies array, we are not passing any dependencies. So this callback function will be executed only for the initial rendering. And there we are calling this fetch users function. And this fetch users function is responsible for sending a get request to the server and fetching all the users from the database. Right. So if I save the changes here, if you go to the web page, now you will notice that when I load this page for the first time, at that time also, all the users from the database is displayed here. Now, what we also want is when I click on this add users button and when I add a new user and click on this create user button, that user should be created in the database and it should be fetched automatically and displayed in this table. Okay, currently that is not happening. Currently what is happening is if I create a user and click on this create user button, that user will be created in the database. But to fetch that new user, I will have to click on this get users button. But here what I want is when this create user button is clicked and when the user is created in the database, that user should automatically be fetched by this React application. Let's see how we can do that. But before that, whenever I click on this create user button, it creates a user in the database. And after the user is created in the database, I also want to close this form. So for that, in this on create user, once we have the response, we are logging that response. And after that, we also want to close the form. So for that, I can call this function that's set show form. So basically, this is a state updating function. And using this function, I'm going to set this show form state to false. And then once the post request is sent and the user is created, we will get the response. And once we have the response, we also want to fetch the data from the server. So again, inside this then method, I'm going to call this fetch users. Okay. With this, let's save the changes and let's see if it works. So let's go back to our web page. Let me reload the page. So here it is showing all the users. Now let's click on this add user button and let's add a new user. And now let's click on this create user button. So when I click on this create user button, it has closed the form. Let's go to this database. And here we should have a new user. So as you can see, we have a new user with this name mark. And that user should have automatically been fetched here. So you can see we did not click on this get users button. But once the user has been created, 
it has been automatically fetched from the server and it has been displayed here in this table. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.